how to set up google analytics account hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can set up your google analytics account and how you can set it up onto your website so having said that let's just jump into the video so i'm over here on analytics.google.com and all you have to do is just simply create an account so to create an account just simply click on start measuring over here and it's going to take you over here onto this part of the website where you just simply have to you know enter in your account name so over here you just simply have to set up your account enter in your name you know choose which data and sharing settings you want to have and then just simply click on next so over here i'm just simply going to add in you know whatever name pops up that one looks good then i and then you can choose whether or not you want to have your account data share settings so whether you want to have like you know share settings on your products and services on your benchmarking or technical support or account specialist or whatever if you want all of that you can check all of the boxes if you don't want some of these or all of these you can uncheck them and just simply click on next and then what you have to do is you have to create a google analytics for property right so over here just simply enter in the name of your property and choose your reporting time zone and currency and just simply click on next so let's just say that our property is demo and then i'll just basically over here enter in my own time zone and choose my currency and then i'll just simply click on next and over here I just have to enter in the basic business information so over here you have to just enter in some of the basic information like what is your industry category what is the size of your business and how do you intend to use google analytics that's pretty much it all ask you so let's just say over here that our business falls into the computer and electronics category all right in that industry and the total size of our business is let's say medium from 11 to 100 employees and then what we can do is we have to check these boxes right so that google Anal can know why are we using the analytics for our view there for our businesses so just take all the that applies over here so for example if your goal is to measure customer engagement with your app or site then choose this box over here just simply check this box and click on create and other boxes as well so for me let's say that i want to have increased conversions all right and optimize the advertising cost and i also want to have measure content monetization and boom there we go these four look good then just simply click on create and over here i just simply have to you know accept their both of the terms and conditions and simply click on i accept and then it's going to take us over to the next part of the website where our next step is to set up a data stream and to start collecting data now over here you have to choose a platform whether it's a website or an android app or an ios app to you know get started so basically you're creating a property as i said before now over here since we are here to set up google analytics for our website so what we're going to do is we'll just simply click on the web over here and then it's going to open up this tab where we just simply have to enter in the domain name so for example if you have a wix website all right if you're using a wix website then for this one you're going to need a premium website a premium domain otherwise it's not going to work because there are some functionalities that wix does not allow in the free version all right so for example like this is a premium website that i have i'll just simply click on this side all right actually i won't click on it i'll just simply go over to this site's dashboard click on my sites and over here i'm going to click on my site on the premium one it's going to take me over to that website's dashboard and once i'm over, so over here i'm on the dashboard of wix's website now over here to actually add you know uh, my website on google analytics all i have would have to do is come over here onto the left side where i have a bunch of options and over here i'll just simply click on marketing and seo and underneath marketing and seo you will find marketing integrations and this is the option that i was talking about this option is only available if you are using the premium version of wix so for example if i open the, my other website over here let's say this one so for example if i go over to the dashboard of that website then over here underneath marketing and seo I would go into marketing integrations you will see you if you click on connect you won't be able to connect your google id because it asks you for a premium plan you can't connect it that's why you're going to need a google that's why you're going to need a premium website so over here i already added that so just simply click on add google analytics id which can be found over here let me just add in the domain name of my website over here and just simply click on create stream all right now that the stream has been created over here you will see this is the id so we'll just simply copy the id 
go back into integrations and just simply paste the integrations over here and boom you're good to go so that's pretty much it once you have done that just simply click on connect and your google id will be connected over here as you can see it says connected so that's pretty much it now what if you wanted to connect let's say another website um for example a google website so to connect a google analytics onto a google website you're going to need to create a google site and it's pretty simple um let me just go ahead and quickly create a site and i'll just simply call it demo site over here and let's say this is the site that i created right so for example this is the site what we'll do is we'll just simply once it's created we'll just simply publish the site all right now to publish it we need to you know actually add the publish settings so over here we'll click on publish settings over here this will be how we publish it over here you're gonna go into let's say search engine settings right and over here change it to public so that people can actually you know just view your website so that you can make it public and then just simply click on save you, people can go ahead and visit it so if you want to add that website just simply click on the setting once you've done that and over here you will have this option analytics just simply click on analytics and over here just simply add in your code that you you know copied once that's done just simply close it and boom you're good to go that way you will see analytic tracking id has been accepted and now is working so it's pretty simple it's really easy now if you wanted to add the google analytics to a wordpress website then again as i said before for that you're going to need a premium website because you're going to need to download uh, some plugins and you won't access you know that specific part of the website unless you have a premium website i don't know, understand why they do that i mean google sites you know it allows you to add it for pretty simply then you you know for free so i don't know why they don't allow that but it is what it is so this is how it looks like now if you wanted to you know see if it is actually working or not uh what you could do is you know you copied the you just you know you go over to your analytics store and over here you just enter in the tsututorials.com right like this is the website so you've added that what you'll basically do is go into reports all right and over here just click on real-time reports and over here you will have all of your reports so currently there is no data because i haven't you know logged into it let me actually do that then we just simply copy it and we'll go back over here and let me just connect it again so over here just simply click on add account over here add the id and just simply save it over here boom as you can see it says you're now connected and once you go back to your website it'll be connected now for example let's just say you know if you wanted to see the analytics report and over here you will be able to see all of your data so let me actually you know visit my website in another account and then you will see over here as you can see uh it now says one over here as you can see someone visited the home page which is going to be me that is me i visited my home page so as you can see it works 100 percent, and that's how you basically you know add analytics to your website and that's how it's going to work and you're going to get all sorts of traffic into your website so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye